All right, here we're going to look at body image. What do you think body image means? Here are some ideas about what body image means, how you see yourself when you look in the mirror, how you picture yourself in your mind, what you believe about your own appearance, like your memories, your assumptions, your generalizations, how you feel about your body, your height, your shape, your weight, how you sense and control your body as you move, how you physically experience or feel in your body. Let's look at positive body image. Appreciate your body. It literally does amazing things. Everybody. So why should you appreciate your body? I'm gonna give you just a few reasons. Ready? As I move through the slides, I'm not gonna read all of it. I'm gonna recap. So if you'd like to pause and read, please go. Your body is always changing. You digest, you react to stress, retain water, and so on. Your body is adaptive, changing metabolism, cooling you down, warming you up, all kinds of things. Your body is unique, literally, just you. Your body allows you to experience your surroundings. Your body grows stronger. Even simple things like learning how to write, those muscles gain strength. If you walk upstairs more often, those muscles gain strength. Your body can heal. Right, in class, we're gonna watch a video, short video about some body positivity. All bodies are beach bodies. Well, someone says, oh, I gotta get beach ready. You are beach ready. If you've got a body, it's a beach body. What are some things that might have a negative effect on body image? What do you think? What are some things that might have someone have a negative view of their own body image? Why is that important? because a negative body image can lead to other issues like eating disorders, like depression, like anxiety, other mental health conditions. So what are some eating disorders? Well, there's anorexia nervosa where you are not getting enough calories in. There's an intense fear of gaining weight. So there's often a very big struggle with the reality, recognizing the literal reality of current body weight. This has a multitude of symptoms and effects on the body, and you can pause them if you're interested in reading about them. Bulimia nervosa is binge eating paired with compensatory behavior. What do I mean? It means trying to make up for that binge. So long periods of fasting, self-induced vomiting, excessive exercise, using laxatives. Those are some of the ways. So to eliminate that food that was consumed, okay? So it's binge eating paired with compensatory behavior. Again, a great deal of effects on the body. Uh, you can pause and read some of those here. Binge eating disorder. So that's recurrent episodes of binge eating. It's often accompanied by eating rapidly, eating until you're uncomfortably full, eating large amounts without feeling hungry, and then often an emotional connection, feeling guilty or disgusted or depressed after eating, okay? Uh, you can read a little bit more about it here, um, but this is often overlooked as an eating disorder. Now, these are just three. There are more than these in terms of eating disorders, but for simplicity, we just focus on these three. Okay, let's look at some statistics. Do you know the statistics around eating disorders? Most of us don't, so let's have a look. You can pause and read all of these if you would like. I'm gonna focus on two. 9% of the US population, or 
28.8 million Americans will have an eating disorder in their lifetime. There are 10,200 deaths every single year that are direct results of an eating disorder. That's one death every 52 minutes. When we are talking about BIPOC statistics, Black, Indigenous, people of color, people who identify as BIPOC are significantly less likely than white people to have been asked by a doctor about eating disorder symptoms. LGBTQ plus statistic. Transgender college students report experiencing disordered eating at approximately four times the rate of their cisgender classmates. People with disability statistics, 20 to 30% of adults with eating disorders also have autism. ADHD is the most commonly missed diagnosis in relation to disorders. People with larger bodies statistics, less than 6% of people with eating disorders are medically diagnosed as underweight. Children and young adult statistics. 81% of 10 year old children, 10 year old children are afraid of being. Body image comments affect celebrities too. They're shown on the cover, shown in features, best and worst beach bodies. Look who gained weight. All over the cover. But remember, everybody is a beach. Got a body? It belongs at the beach, as it is. Lady Gaga. So after a Super Bowl performance, she got some harsh criticism and says this. I heard my body is a topic of conversation, so I wanted to say, I'm proud of my body, and you should be proud of yours too. No matter who you are or what you do, I could give you a million reasons why you don't need to cater to anyone or anything to succeed. Be you and be relentlessly you. That's the stuff of champions. Thank you so much for everyone supporting me. I love you guys. Jennifer Aniston. She lost some weight, she gained some weight, even if she gains a pound. For the record, I am not pregnant. What I am is fed up. I'm fed up with the sport like scrutiny and body shaming that occurs daily under the guise of journalism, the First Amendment, and celebrity news. Wentworth Miller. In 2010, at the lowest point in my adult life, I was looking everywhere for relief, comfort, distraction. And I turned to food and I put on weight. Big effing deal. Simone Biles. You all can judge my body all you want, but at the end of the day, it's my body. And I love it. And I'm comfortable in my skin. Drew Barrymore. I'd gained a bunch of weight. And I was in a restaurant and a woman goes, God, you have so many kids. And I was like, well, two. And she goes, and obviously one on the way. I looked at her and for the first time in my life, I go, no, I'm just effing fat. Kumail Nanjani. To hear a bunch of people reaffirming my own darkest thoughts about myself was very Beyonce, talking about the song Bootylicious, which in class we're going to listen to a clip of. I wrote that because at the time I'd gained some weight and the pressure that people put you under, the pressure to be thin is unbelievable. I was just 18 and you shouldn't be thinking about that. You should be thinking about building up your character and having fun. And the song was just telling everyone to forget what people are saying. You're bootylicious. Jonah Hill. 
asked fans to not comment on my body because it's not helpful. It doesn't feel good. Most of us have experienced negative comments about our appearance. No matter what it might be, weight, hairstyle, age, gender expression, body hair, skin. Many of us think negative comments about ourselves. Would we say those same things to other people? In class, we're gonna watch a video about the things that we say to ourselves. In this video, people practice saying those same things to other people. The person who just lost a lot of weight might be grieving, might be depressed, might be sick or have health issues, and might not have intended to lose weight. So just don't talk about it. The person who just gained a lot of weight might be grieving, might be depressed, might be sick or have health issues, might have not intended to gain weight. So when should you say something? I like to say this. Please follow the five second rule. You know the three second rule, you know, when food drops on the floor, but well, that's a topic for another day. This is the five second rule. Oh my gosh, you've got spinach in your teeth. Whew, awesome, thank you. I can change that in five seconds. Oh my gosh, you have toilet paper on your shoe. Awesome, thank you. I can change that in five seconds. What are some other things that people might be able to change in five seconds? Let's talk about it. What are some things that someone cannot change in five seconds? Let's talk about it. Race, gender, age, skin color, weight, and so much more. So be mindful of the five second rule. If someone can't change it in five seconds, zip it. Don't even comment. So what did you learn today? What impacted you? How can we do better? And that is part of body image. I hope you learned something new today.